mumbling does not begin to describe what I've just experienced. I was given the opportunity to preach to 300 lepers who, by American standards, have no hope, nothing to turn to. But they come here and they get a hot meal and they get people that look them in the eye and love them and care about them. My job today was to share the love of God with them and that in the new kingdom, when God restores everything, he'll restore them. And the hope that was in their eyes is unlike anything I've ever seen. And to know that they believe what I was saying with their whole heart, that there was no doubt that God would come through on that promise. And then to be able to serve them a meal and them to thank me uh, as if what I was doing outweighed what they were doing for me in just blessing my life and showing me what it means to rely on God and to have real faith and to have real hope amidst such suffering. Uh, I've just never experienced anything like that. I want my friends and those people I live with and work with to know why I'm a Christian. They always ask, what is it like? What, why do you do it? Um, and it was today that, that, that I think it clicked. Um, it talks about um, letting myself go. Um, all I wanted to do today was to pour out my heart to these people, uh, to these people that had so much less than I had, um, so much less to be thankful for, so much less to be joyous about, but yet I felt like I was in this presence, this presence that I, I couldn't understand or control, and it made me want to sing, it made me want to worship God, the creator of the universe, it made me want to just pray for people, just put my hands on them, to love them, it, it, it made me want to just love, it, it made me want to serve. I, I, wanted, I wanted to give water to everybody and I kept running out of water and I kept running back to the jug. I didn't get tired. I, I kept wanting to serve them food. They, they flagged me down and it was like I was in the presence of God. It was like I was having a relationship with Jesus Christ. So many times people think Christianity is this thing at church. We, we go to church and we sing songs and then we go home and then, yeah, I, I'd agree. Why? Why do that? Man, today, that that was Christianity. That that was that was walking as a Christian to be in God's presence. I sang. I can't sing, and I sang so loud in front of people. I I prayed and I touched people that no one wants to touch. I wanted to do it because I felt like God was there. And so, for those of you that have asked me ever why I do this thing or what is it or why would I ever give my life to something like that, man. I'll tell you about it. It's it's amazing. Ask me more about it because God is real and, and it happens in, 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 in India. It happens in our lives back at home. You're my water. Hey, um, so today we, uh, we're getting ready to go down to the leprosy colony and um, we're fortunate enough to um, serve them. Um, we served one meal and we're going to go down a little bit to serve the second one. And um, I got to say I was pretty nervous. This was the day I was most nervous for because, um, you know, I've never been around people who don't have fingers and toes and who are real sick as they are. And, um, you know, back in the U.S., if, uh, if I see anyone that has a disability or whatever, I'm ashamed to say that it makes me real nervous to be around them. Um, I, I guess ultimately I'm a little scared because I'm not sure how I'm supposed to act. And uh, so today I was real, real hesitant of making it down there and seeing everybody. But um, you know, the minute I walked in there, like, it was really cool. And everybody had already started preaching to them and praying and stuff. And they were just sitting around with big smiles on their face, you know. And uh, um, it was, it was awesome. As soon as they started singing, they were clapping their hands. I just I didn't want to be sitting up there, you know, looking at them. I wanted to be be mixed in with them, you know. And um, I went back and I sat down there, tapping their hands. They were excited. They wanted me to sit next to them. And so I just put my hands on them and prayed and um, sang and worshipped. And 
got my picture taken with this woman that I sit next to, and she asked to see the picture, and I showed her the picture, and, and she acted as if she had never seen a picture of herself. Oh. I almost felt bad because maybe I had made her cry. And then I saw the smile when she took her sorry down and realized it was tears of joy that she got to see a picture of herself. So after that I looked over and there were some other people and they were tapping so I went over and sat next to them and this woman, she didn't have any fingers whatsoever and so I put my hands on her fingers and I looked back at the woman that I'd been sitting with and she was almost kind of mad at me because she was like, you were here first, you know, and so I scooted back over and sat with her and prayed on her and then when it was time to serve I wanted to go and give her a meal first, I felt like she was mine at that point, so I grabbed a plate and I went and gave it to her and then I went and uh, served the people in the back row and I, as I was walking by I noticed she was just sitting there looking at her plate but she was looking and her friends next door didn't have any food so she wasn't eating and so I just couldn't believe the humanity you know hey my friends don't have any food so I'm going to sit here and I'm going to wait wait for my friends and uh, she didn't touch her food until I saw everyone around her had it and it was just incredible you know I, you know those that knew that, that their friends needed the food more than they did or pointing and offering their food first before they receive theirs and it just, you know, for, for people to be that hurting that much and to be that unselfish, it just blew me away. It was the best, probably going to be the best part of this trip it was couldn't serve them enough, you know. This is uh, year two for me in India, and um, I knew what to expect uh, to spend time with the lepers today. And the last time I was so emotional, so emotional about being with them and, and seeing their joy and watching them worship. And um, so I really didn't imagine that I would, I would get emotional uh, this time, and I did. You know, I, I bawled like a baby again because you're sitting in the presence of God. You know, this is who Jesus came to be with. And there's those people back in the States. You know, maybe they have figures and toes, maybe they have those things, but it's a constant reminder of my own apathy. Yeah, but to be able to serve and to love is a huge honor, but it's something that I get so nervous about not taking away from here, not going back and thinking that, you know, to do something significant, you have to spend time with lepers, but really that there's needs and neighbors that need us just as much as these wonderful people that do not have fingers and toes. And there's mothers back home that, that are single and that are working two jobs to take care of their family and they need us. And it's it just, for me, it was a reminder, an emotional reminder. And I don't know what it is about, about the lepers that gets me so emotional, but I, I, have, I have to believe it's the joy and to believe that I need to go back and I need to live, continue to live out that life of service to other people. Not just here in India, but home. To the lepers of America, whatever they look like. So last year I was angry because I felt like the church dropped the ball. Or last year I was angry because, you know, Americans are apathetic and we don't care. And we think about ourselves and we're so consumeristic. and. This year has taught me that I'm the problem. I'm the reason why there's lepers in India. I'm the reason why there's lepers type people in America. And I want to change that. I want to do something about it. And I believe I'll spend the rest of my life trying to get anyone I talk to, anyone I know, to come along with that journey. And it's been great to see the team just love on people and learn and break for what breaks the heart of Christ.
And would we not just do it in India, but would we do it around the world for the rest of our lives? Because this is who we are called to be in the hands and feet of Christ. Yeah. The uh, leper colony was um, a very humbling experience. Um, given my situation with my children, uh, they have a terminal illness, so it's really easy for me to uh, feel sorry for myself and feel sorry for my kids and uh, and just be in this sad, kind of depressed state a lot. Um, so being down there with the lepers um, really was like an eye-opening experience. Um, just showed me that um, the situation that we're that I'm in with my kids is is uh, nothing really compared to what these these people are dealing with. I mean, they have nothing, but yet their faith is so amazing. My kids are in a place where they have the best doctors, and, you know, the parents and family that love them and unconditionally love them, and like they're just loved on, showered with just stuff all the time. Um, so to come here and to, uh, to experience this and to feed the lepers and like, there, it was just an amazing experience and it just taught me to uh, really just kind of take a better look at my life and realize that it's not about me, it's not about my kids. Um, it's, it's a lot, a lot bigger than that. And once I, uh, I can I can learn that and remember that um, it's, it's a humbling experience. Um, it's not about me. It's not about them. Um, it's just uh, I can't even put into words what it's done to me, and uh, um, that's what I was looking for. You know, I, I wanted I wanted God to show me that this week, and uh, um, I think He has. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but. Uh, it was just, just an amazing, amazing experience. Walking away from it, I remember the passage where Jesus said, what you do for the least of these, you, you do for me. And the reality of that I just got to serve Jesus breakfast. Um, I don't know. I almost don't know how to how to navigate that thinking that Jesus took breakfast from my hands today, and I had the opportunity to serve Him. It is a moment I'll never.